dealer say it's coming out. Each piece of steel is like a human being. It all it has a different physiology because of what it's been through. This is the, the last column. Its origins were as part of the South Tower column, you know, B101, which ran from the sub-basement up through, ultimately, of course, the South Tower observation deck. At the very, very top, this is where one particular fire squad came looking for their six colleagues, and that was um, Squad 41. And they just put a little mark on it, SQ-41, as a reminder, you know, to come back and excavate at that site. As they began to, you know, excavate the earth down, they started to find marked tools from their guys. When word got out that this was going to be the last ceremonial piece of steel, thousands and thousands of individuals who'd been participating in the rescue recovery efforts started to mark it. One of the first um, markings that gets put on the last column is for the Port Authority Police Department. It says PAPD 37. We've been trying to document all of the markings, all of the signatures on it. There may be as many as, you know, as many as a thousand uh, signatures. This is a piece that was one of the few pieces that went directly from Ground Zero here. When it arrived, I mean, as you can sense from all of the kind of improvised postings, you know, duct tape and scotch tape and magic marker and, you know, illuminated spray paint and all of the different ways people just improvised. Um, the skin was exfoliating, leaching water. A lot of the paper materials had started to cop. That's where the conservation pro project became very, very interesting. And this was never intended to be anything more than kind of a spontaneous memorial marker. <laughs> known as the last column, and the last column is uh, being brought to the job site today. Uh, the reason that it's being done today is because it fits in to the schedule of the final construction. A large piece of artifact like this can't be brought in after the building is complete, so it's being brought in as the superstructure of the, of the building is, uh, is being completed. I think the last column is the ultimate survivor of 9-11. Um, it spans this three, three generations of the event. It was there when the towers went up. It's foundational. It was there as the ultimate eyewitness in a way when the towers came down. And it was there uh, sort of as the last veteran in the field uh, throughout the nine months of rescue, recovery, cleanup operations. I think that makes it very powerful. And of course, then it has this ageless afterlife when it will be in the museum as a igniter of discussion about the memory of this event. And I think that you will come back to read the history of 9-11 as something that's not just about forces and ideas and colossal physical property loss, but is ultimately, uh, you know, a, a, a story of ceaseless human stories.